CBS 4 now has a follow-up to a deadly police shooting in El Paso's Upper Valley last month. The family of the man who was killed believes the officer who fired the deadly rounds could have done more to end the confrontation peacefully. The shooting happened earlier this month at, the, at a car wash. The police department released body camera video over the weekend. In the video, the man in the car claims to have a gun and makes threatening comments. The officer tells the man several times to drop what he's holding before firing six shots. CBS 4 attends Jennifer Cuevas is in the newsroom tonight after meeting with the man's family at the car wash where he died, and she shares what they had to say. The deadly officer-involved shooting at a car wash on Donovan took the life of 30-year-old Michael Anthony Estrada. The family tells me Estrada had a history of mental illness ever since he was a baby. And while they don't agree with the interaction of Estrada and the police officer that night, they believe the police officer took it too far. You know, like he could have went a whole different way about it, I think. And I mean, but it's too late now. There's nothing I can do. It's not going to bring my son back. It's not going to bring him back home to me, so what else is there left for me to do? A family is left grieving for their son and brother, Michael Anthony Estrada, after Estrada was killed in an officer-involved shooting in March. The mother says her son Michael had been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder from a very early age. While she recognizes her son's role in the incident, she does not believe Michael had the intention to hurt the officer. Both in the wrong, both my son and the police officer. You know, I mean, because, I mean, the police officer shouldn't have took it as far as he did. In the body cam footage, we hear Michael threaten the officer with an alleged gun, but the mother emphasizes he would not have used it. it I mean, I'm sure, he'd be, I'm sure he probably did, but he had no intentions on using it, and I'm sure it was found nowhere near him. Anthony Coca, Estrada's brother, adds police officers need to be trained better in handling people with mental illness. Health is, is serious and they need they really need to not make mental health a joke because it's it's not it's it's serious thing. Earlier in the week, a spokesperson with El Paso PD spoke during the KFOX morning show on why the department chose to release the body cam footage. It's a balance between investigations and the community. Um, understanding what happens when these incidents occur. However, Estrada's mother doesn't believe that's the case. I've never seen them do that before. It felt like they lied to me because they told me there was an altercation when they, went, when they went to my house and told me that my son was killed, that there was an altercation. There was no altercation. The cop didn't even give him a chance. To the family adds it was not uncommon for Estrada to hang out at car washes both in El Paso and in Las Cruces. They are now asking for justice. I'm reporting from the newsroom, Jennifer Cuevas, CBS4 at 10.